I'm out with Ray Novak here from ICOM, and we've just been chatting a little bit about their program working with the Boy Scouts of America. Yes, sir. And you can fill us in a little bit about what that is going to be and how it's helping the Boy Scouts and how and what is ICOM's involvement. Well, it's, it's been a fun uh, involvement as well as an evolving project. Uh, when we originally started talking about what can I come do for Boy Scouts of America, it originally started as a donation for equipment for the Jamboree. Okay. But this eventually moved into identifying three phases of what the Boy Scouts do for the Radio Merit Badge. One was what the local councils do for their daily Radio Merit, Merit Badge programs. The second one was Jamboree, the real big event. And then the third one is their new facility at the Beecho Family Summit, or what they're referring to as the summit. And identifying those three things, there's a lot of opportunities, not only for ICOM as a corporation, but to help spread word about amateur radio. The Radio Merit Badge kits that I'm leaning against right here is one of them that has an ICOM 7200, our AH710 folded dipole, power supply, uh, extra DC power cable, external speaker, and uh, desk mic. Uh, and desk mic. The, this kit, well, there's ten of these kits that'll be floating around to help groups that are that might not have the the equipment or the resources to have radio equipment to actually do that final piece, okay. and that is to get the kids on the air. Yeah. Then at the jamboree itself, there's various uh, stations that are going to be set up for HF operation, amateur radio direction finding. Uh, satellite operations, VHF, uh, APRS, as well as D-STAR and some of the repeaters there as well. And that'll be a different segment just for the Jamboree. And then the final piece of it is that the summit's going to be a year-round uh, camp, or not campgrounds, but a year-round uh, facility to be used for some of their more extreme events. And with that, amateur radio then could be considered an, an extreme event, but they will there will be somebody there to help them there again at that facility get that final piece of the, the merit badge. So it's something that we're really excited about and getting amateur radio in the forefront of a year-round type event for them. Okay, very good. So we should say when you hear the Jamboree stations on the air, everybody, work them. <laughs> yes, definitely. Get on there and work those kids and have a lot of fun. I'm sure they're going to appreciate all the contacts oh, you know, yes. that we can make for them. The, and, uh, the yearly jamboree on the air as well as the big, what they call the Jambo event okay. in 2013. Okay. So we have those to look, up, look forward to. And if you hear the Boy Scouts on, please work them. You know, it's, uh, they're having a lot of fun out there working with the equipment, learning the propagation, operating techniques, problem solving building it's a uh, you know you know it covers a lot of different aspects and and not only that to expand the, the knowledge on the science and like the science and the technology and the math backgrounds on it but just to get the kids to understand ham radio hmm. I'm probably going to be in this ham industry at least another 20 years yeah. those kids that are learning about it today in 20 years are going to be voting the CCNRs for the Homeowners Association. Right. If they see ham radio as a positive fun thing, they're going to be less apt to vote it out or say they can't put up antennas yeah. because of the unknown. And that's what most people are fearful of is the unknown, yeah. not the we know that's fun. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much. And thank you. We'll see you in Pacificon in a few months. I'll and I'm proud that I'm finally getting on one of your videos. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I think you were on another one, the, the one I did at Pacificon last year. I think I. Okay. Really? I thought I did. Well, maybe it is number one. Could so, be. Anyway, it won't be the last. How's that? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, thank again, you, Randy. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm with Dave here, KF7E. Left-handed shake, but it's nice to finally meet you. ETX, who I've known as User Doc, right, on YouTube. So he, have, you produce a lot of ham radio, as well as uh, a lot of other things. Yeah, um, prep and right, first aid and 
I don't know, explain. Well, I, I, my channel has kind of evolved. I think it's a, a slice of my life, so I'm interested in ham radio. Okay. I'm interested in preparedness, mm -hmm. and um, I share my family, okay. and, um, and then my medical stuff. Okay. And here at the show, you're selling, what, first aid kits? A lot, a, lot of, a lot of first aid kits that we make. So we've got everything from basic first aid kits to full-on okay. big kits. This is my biggest kit. It's called the Outfitter, but it rolls up into about okay. 8 inches and 8 pounds. All right. It's like a rollout clinic. It hangs from a wall. Yeah. And now I get to make radio bags. Radio bags? Yes. I have a C-Rate 17 here. Yeah. Let's put it up here where we can see it. Oh, I hit the microphone. There we go. So um, I spend a lot of time looking at how to do this, but um, it's got a little supporting foot that folds up so it elevates okay. the radio up so you can look in, inside the bag. Yeah. On the inside, there's a place for 25 feet of coax. Cool. Little tube to put uh, That's neat. Yeah. your fittings and yeah. then manuals and pens and so it's kind of i kind of aimed it at the soda and islands on the air guys yeah. but also you know anybody traveling or there's a battery access back there and okay. zipper access to the all the ports including the rear coax right and i using one of those uh, buddy pole oh well the, well, the a123 batteries. exactly yeah, yeah. and it's been uh, running all day yeah and then the mic and cable and the antenna all stuff in there and it's a thin little package. Cool. Yeah. Well, well, having just ordered a KX3 today, oh, yeah. I may yeah. need a new bag. So, uh, <laughs> that, that's a very cool radio. <laughs> oh, well, like I need another radio, yeah. but it's the cool factor. It's it is really the cool there. factor. Yeah. I was just over there. That is a very cool. Yeah. So what type of ham radio things are you involved with? Uh, thanks to you. Okay. Um, six meters, which six is meters. opening up soon, I think, right? Yeah, hope, yeah hopefully. Time, yeah, yeah it should be a good... Yeah, there's uh, a VHF contest like two, three weeks after field day. Yep. Of course, field day brings out a lot of a VHF, lot of, ex too. Exactly. Um, I, Ten meters. So I'm a tech. So okay. those are my long distance. is going to yeah. be six meters and ten. And then okay. I do a lot of uh, satellite and okay. space station. Talk to the space station. Wow, is yeah. that neat? Yeah. Yeah. I talked to them several years ago. They were just coming off shift, headed to dinner, and I asked them what they were going to have. What they're going to have for dinner? And he said pork chops. <laughs> pork chops, right? <laughs> to me, it's you know, it's a little geeky, but it's so exciting to talk to them and realize that they're traveling 17,000 miles yeah, you an hour. Put it right over you. Yeah. 250 miles, and you're on a hand. Like a couple of times, I talked on a handheld. Yeah. So. All you do is just watch the satellite, you know, orbiting programs and kind of their schedule a little bit. So, so it, it took me, um, I probably spent a good month trying to talk to them and I could never make contact and I figured out they're on UTC time and when they go to bed, their hmm. their time frame is not our time frame. Well, I thought they were on central time. No, they're, no, on, they're on UTC. UTC time. Because it's half American, half international or right. whatever. Right, so the yeah. very first time I was going to try and talk with them, one of my techs in the ER came up and said, hey, their space station's going to fly over at 4 o'clock this morning. Okay. So we all ran out to the helicopter pad thinking we were going to talk yeah. to the space station. Well, our 4 o'clock in the morning was not their you know, bedtime, yeah. 11 o'clock at night. And yeah. they were long gone okay. and not, in, not near huh. us. Cool. So, um, neat. Okay, well, I enjoy your videos. Oh, and, I, and I, I'm a big fan of yours, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I walked by you know, earlier today, and they've just, you know, just about grabbed me from the aisle here. And of course, well, I knew I, you were here. I, I, my wife was emails. talking with you, yeah. and I said, you don't know who you're talking to. That's Randy. <laughs> so, yeah. Randy who, yeah. So, yeah, I've seen quite a few of my viewers here. I walked into the uh, special event Did station. people walk up and see your face and, and your call sign? I think it's just the face yeah. now, yeah. I walked into the special events trailer out there, and they all go, oh, hi, Randy, how are you doing? And, right. and I actually had a tweet from Bob, AJ5C, I believe it was, while I was in one of the sessions, saying, what frequency are what they frequency on? on? So, so I go out there, you. stick my head in the door, and they were on 21288, so I tweeted that back to Bob. And then I hear the uh, fellow, I think Ron, who was doing the operating, saying, well, he's standing right next to me now. <laughs> that so. is so cool. <laughs> yeah. So, small world. So, very good. Well, it's good to meet you, and success and uh, oh thank you and maybe get your general soon oh i'm working on that yes yeah. so yeah. if if when i took my tech if they had told me study and after the tech you've got an opportunity to take your general yeah. i would have had my general 
So yeah. that was my big lesson. If you're taking your tech, be prepared for them to say, do you want to take your general? It's right worth at? taking it just so you have the experience of what the test looks like. So I missed like that by two questions and I didn't even oh study. Oh, so I was Yeah, you're real close. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, nice, nice chatting with so you today. Nice meeting you. Okay, thanks. Yeah.